Okay, here we go with a cooking video. This is for the madake, or the timber bamboo. I got this from a friend, Kishindo2019. Shout out to Joe-san and his beetle business. Start by taking off the outer layers of the bamboo shoot and then cutting it up. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever used this ingredient. So I'm just suffering through. Trying to figure out what the consistency is. How do you cut this? What parts are edible? I've actually got no idea. So I'm shaving off the green stuff the outer part of the bamboo. I think I put that in the pot anyway. After it's boiled, I should be able to eat everything, right? Start off by cutting it lengthwise. You see there are these little compartments inside the bamboo. You could actually put some ground beef in there and, uh, and make kind of a funny looking sandwich. these bigger pieces of the bamboo. I don't know what to do with that. If you have any ideas, let me know. Here we go. Now we just add a little bit of rice water. So I rinse off some rice. Uh, I don't actually eat rice, so this is going to the birds, but uh, all of the junk that gets washed off the rice is gonna go in with the bamboo. And this is supposed to make it taste good. Now, here we go. This is the most important part. Just boil it for 20 minutes. Throw in some mushrooms for a little bit of a dashi or umami flavor. Uh, toss in some red hot chili peppers. Just give it a little bit of kick and boil for 20 minutes. Now you have to boil to get the aku out of it. Aku, I think, is lye in English. It's really not present in large enough amounts to upset your stomach, but it's still a toxin and you want to make sure that it's boiled off. And 20 minutes later, there it is. Bubbling nicely. Kikurage is looking good. Now we're on to the fry. Now you might notice I don't put exact amounts in my ingredients list or in my directions because I never measure anything. Uh, just when the, when the sesame oil, when it's shimmering on the surface, that's when you put the goodies in. I hate pan frying like this at higher heats because it messes up the kitchen and I have to clean it up afterwards, but we all make sacrifices, don't we? To create what might be some delicious food. I'll just get all the ingredients in there and frying it up good. Now, these shoots are too big. I should have julienned it, I should have cut it up beforehand. <laughs> you never want to do this, <laughs> but it's absolutely necessary. I don't want to wait for it to cool off. Just have to cut it up into strips, like normal menma looks like. Oh, this is painful. Not only is this bamboo too hot, but it's painful to watch somebody doing this. It's hot. 
It's hot. It's hot. It's hard to cut up. Cut up, cut up. After you've already added it to the... It's hot. It's hard to cut up. To the fry pan. Don't judge me. I'm sure you've all done something like this before. Now we add a little bit of brown sugar uh, just to caramelize it to get some color on the bamboo shoots. A couple splashes of soy sauce. Get some of that salty flavor in there. Some black pepper. After, after a couple minutes, deglaze it with some white wine or some sake, uh, possibly some meeting if you want more of a sweet flavor to it. Um, I think that was on the floor. Uh, but I definitely washed it off in water before I put it back in the pan. And now we just... Put it into a serving bowl, garnish with something green, and enjoy.